In Photo Sound Bytes 2 and 3, we saw how shutter speeds and apertures produced a correctly exposed photograph. A third contributory factor is the speed at which a digital sensor is able to pick up light, which can be altered and known as ISO or ISO for short, ISO sensitivity something that should not be confused with shutter speeds. Although different ISO sensitivities will affect how the camera selects a shutter speed, its application is for another purpose. ISO sensitivity is not new or only applicable to digital cameras. In the days of film, it was called film speed. For quality film images, we used a slow speed film, but to photograph an interior without flash, where the intensity of light was much lower than daylight, to avoid camera shake caused by a long shutter speed, a high speed film was used that responded to light more quickly. The problem was that the whole film had to be used for the job in hand and therefore unsuitable for the brighter conditions outside. ISO stands for International Standards Organization, referring to an international standard created in 1979 for measuring the speed at which color negative film reacted to light, a system now used for digital photography following several corrections. It is not necessary for the photographer to know the speed at which film or a digital sensor reacts to light. It is a complicated formula, which you can, if you wish, Google for more information. However, ISO sensitivity used in digital photography works to a simple numbering formula that doubles in value from 50 to 3200 ISO and beyond. Therefore, a sensor will react to light twice as fast, for example at 100 ISO, then 50, and likewise up the table. The advantages of ISO sensitivity with digital cameras is that the photographer makes adjustments for subjects where the intensity of light is lower, for example, church interiors. But before returning outside, the earlier settings must be reinstated. On auto, the camera makes adjustments to ISO sensitivity automatically, which the photographer cannot override. By adding the ISO table to the shutter speed and aperture tables, we can see how they work together. These are the basic values. They show how a sensor will react to light twice as fast or twice as slow between each value in the same way that a shutter speed can double or half the time a shutter remains open, or an aperture by the iris size can allow twice as much light to reach the sensor, or only a half. As with shutter speeds and apertures, isosensitivity also has in-between values, but for the sake of clarity in showing all three working together, under a variety of lighting conditions, only the basic values are shown. With the camera set to auto, these three tables, ISO, shutter speeds and apertures, act like scales, adjusting themselves up and down in accordance with its arbiter, the intensity of light, by calculating the exposure as it seems fit but the results may not be the best, as different subjects require different adjustments. Therefore, the photographer will need to take control, and that, as will be seen in future 
photo soundbites is where real photography enters the story.